Guys, this is Guts here, um, bringing you another tutorial video. This one is going to be on how to play Meepo if you are specifically a noob in terms of, let's just say you're not very good at microing or you just can't multitask very well or you're just lower MMR. This video is going to show you how to play Meepo based off of that scenario and uh, utilizing that to your advantage so you can gain MMR and outskill opponents. The main three concepts to Meepo are as follows. He needs levels. When you obtain levels, he needs to flash farm. When you obtain flash farm, you need to gank. Through ganking, you need to snowball, and off that snowball, you will have a lead so that you either close out the game ASAP, or you are far enough ahead that you could close it out with casualties, with struggling, and still win the game. We're gonna go mid on Meepo, you're gonna get some levels and then you're gonna give it up because you don't really want to stay mid afterwards because it's dangerous to ganks and stuff and you're only there for EXP anyways. So you're gonna either leave to go farm the jungle or if you're there, it's purely for EXP. You're not there to win the lane. So here's the mid lane. I'm level three already. Um, I have one Wraith Band. If we advance a little bit further, click on my hero again. I have my two Wraith Bands. This is good enough for me to go in jungle. Usually, you want to wait till level 5 so that you have the third point and poof before you jungle, but I'm so close, I just went in at level 4 and did it. Now, the main thing that you need to do before you even jungle, this is what you need to learn. It seems complex, but it's not hard. Stacking camps. If I go back a bit, you'll actually see me doing this previously, as you can see here. I'm level 3, almost hitting 4. I just got my Wraith Band, but I have my main Meepo, the one that has the items, gaining the EXP mid lane, while the other one is stacking jungle. This is 55. This one's 53. This is when you attack the camps. This one right here, I think, is 56. This one is 53, and this one is 55. So you attack, you walk away from them. You attack at that time I just mentioned on the clock. 55 for example you walk away from it out of its spawn box okay make the creeps go out of the spawn box so when the respawn happens it'll spawn new creeps and once you hit five you go in the jungle as you can see here i'm farming jungle i've left mid i've given it up to my teammates so it's 11 minutes in i have two wraith bands treads my quelling blade my stout shield and a tp this is a very standard uh meepo build right here I'm maxed out on poof, that's the skill you do want to max. And you want to get Earthbind before Geostrike. I know it sounds weird considering you're farming the jungle, but Meepo's still a very good ganker early game, so in case if you do have the multitasking abilities to help your teammates, having two points at Earthbind before you max the Geostrike is crucial. Strike really doesn't speed up your farming that much, it's better for killing also, but long range will always trump any sort of short range when you're farming you want to keep stacking so right now once i kill this quickly i'll probably want to stack over here let's see if i do it i oh, watch this, this is going to be a perfect example of the stack okay so this one will be first because it's at 53 this one will be second because it's at 55. it takes practice to get used to doing this but it's really simple Dyer's you just bottom have to tower put in the time is under attack it. so both camps are going to spawn as you can see here and i got two fresh stacks to farm so if you feel like stacking and farming ancients that is also acceptable I wouldn't advise doing that until your poof is maxed, but otherwise that's a possibility. Have your power treads to int before you do poof, then you'll get more poofs out. That's just the nature of Dota. Um, and then you swap it back to agility so that you can farm the camp quicker. But if I'm very close to my blink, earliest is about 12 minutes when you get your blink, so I'm going to be a little bit off. I'll just speed it forward a bit and see what time I have it at. So I do have it already. This is 14 minutes shortly after. And this is the next phase of Meepo. So this is when you start ganking. It's your one Meepo, he will roam around and look for ganks. And your other Meepos will farm the jungle while you do that. Because they won't take that much damage. So as you can see here, I'm looking for kills for ganks. But in order to farm with your Meepos, you simply shift Q the A button. So you select your Meepos. You shift A here. And then on your main map, shift A here, shift A here, shift A here, shift A here. And they'll just naturally farm those five camps while you're walking. You look back, you see them standing still here. Repeat the process when the camps spawn. That way you're constantly getting gold 
while also looking for kills. I don't know if I have any kills yet. I actually do, so I must have already started killing people. Maybe I got this set a little bit earlier. Let's see if I get any more kills. So it's my KDR. I don't even know. I think I... There, I've just started to die, okay? So I'm 7-1 and one at 23 minutes. I pretty much got my sheep stick. But the enemy is scared. They have to stay together to avoid not dying from me. And by doing that, you just farm the map and your team gets more space. Because you do have a team, by the way. Because if they don't do this, you just pick them off. And if you have, you should always have a TP scroll. You just TP out and repeat the process fresh, right? Like, it's as simple as that. So, I'm going to level up. Poof is what you want level one. Got dirt between my toes. You'll get another level up. You won't level any. It's all coming together for me. If you do that, you'll have one point in Earthbind or Geostrike, usually Earthbind. And then level three, you get your Meepo. So you're one, one, and zero. Or sorry, one, one, and one. Whereas if you wait and don't level up, watch. You could get two points in Poof and one in Divided We Stand. Like I said, kills early game is not going to happen. Don't try and make it win the lane as Meepo early game. It doesn't happen. You're there just to farm. If you say remember so. Remember when I... If the creeps are ever past the river, don't even go up and farm them. Just wait with the one here. Send right. this guy to the jungle and wait till that creep wave comes before you farm like it. your main one. So this, this, second point, this. All or me both. Next. Then you max Geo Strike. Like that. Always get your talents when you can. So the ones I like to get, I like the damage. Because you just want to be killing people early game. You're not worried about the late game yet. If I level to max. Lifesteal seems great good. For you you want to kill people. So you actually don't want lifesteal. Poof is always better. Unless if they have really fast BKBs. And unless if you're. Let's say your kills aren't working. And you have to focus more on farm. Then you could get lifesteal. But otherwise poof damage. Earthbind. Again it's all about kills on this hero. If you're ever not getting the kill abilities, these three, then that means you're losing and you have to play defensive, which usually isn't a good thing. So, Earthbind. I think even if you're getting kills, it's acceptable to get the 600 health over the poof cooldown. You'll get the two Wraith Bands. Usually you start out with a Stout Shield and a Tango. Get the boots. Upgrade them to Treads because Meepo's very stat reliant. He's like a Morphling. Once you have this build, Blink Dagger. Blink Digger! And this is when I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. You want to blink, net. Hold still! Okay. Once you've netted, here's what you're going to do next. You could just blink in and start poofing. The first one is the only one you need to worry about the net. So bam, bam, and Hold still! Tap the See ya! You're welcome. But you have to make sure your, your cursor is over your original Meepo. Because if it's not, here's what happens. So I'll refresh everything. I'll show you what happens if it's not. So you blink and do that. Stay, boy! This. Watch this. See ya! They'll just stay in the same spot they're in. It has to be on where your meat boys, which in most cases is what it will, because you're going to be ganking. When you get sheep stick, your approach isn't the net, it's the blink. Side of vice! You can net stay and put. get them all. Every bit poof. This is the easiest. Hey, why not? There's dip so eventually, if you feel you're good enough, you could try and do it this way, but this is really difficult. I find I even struggle. So I'll show you what like it is it. quickly, okay? So basically what you do is you will tab on your other Meepo, the first one to start, and you'll start blinking, you'll start poofing with these in the area you want to go, and then at the end you'll finish with your main hero blinking in. So the minute he blinks, they're already poofing. And I'll show you right now. Yeah, I'm gonna like beat that, you. Okay? It's not easy. So don't worry about that. Once again, blink net. Stay, poof, boy. Poof, poof, poof. That's it. So that's my Meepo guide. I hope it helps. Other than that, I will see you all next time.